Okay, so we're looking at solving quadratic equations now. And before we can really get started on solving quadratic equations, we need to look at some more algebra. What we're going to do is some more multiplying out of brackets, but slightly more complicated than we've done before. So what we're going to look at is when we have this sort of thing in brackets. Okay, and you'll see why we're going to be looking at these as we go on. So, how do I multiply this out? I need to, if I had values, I'd need to do whatever it says in here, and do whatever it says in here, and then times the results together. But it's only to time, times every term in here by every term in here. And it's actually very straightforward. So, what we do, the first thing we do, we times x by x, which will just give us x squared. Okay, next thing we do, we times the x by 3. So that might slightly fit. Times the x by the 3. That's going to give us plus 3x. Okay, the next thing we do, we move on to the 2, and we times the 2 by the x. Okay, so we add 2x. And last but not least, we times the 2 by the 3. So we get plus 6. Okay? So just make sure everything's times by everything else. And by drawing these lines on, we make sure we've definitely done all the steps. So now we've got to do a simplify. x squared, 3x plus 2x, it's 5x. And then plus. Six. Okay, and I hope you can see why this might be interesting to us. This is of the form a x squared plus b x plus c. It's of that form. It's of the form of a quadratic equation, an equation that will give us some form of quadratic graph that we were just looking at. So this will come in very useful. So let's just do a few more practice of those to make sure we, we know how to do those. So let's look at another example. Let's look at x minus 4, x plus 7. Okay, so same again. Let's draw those lines on x times x gives us x squared. Okay. x times by the 7 will give us plus, because it's a plus there, 7x. Okay. Nice and straightforward. Now, if times the x by everything means times the minus 4 by everything. Remember, it's minus 4. So we times that by the x, and we get minus 4x, okay, and then last but not least, we do the minus 4 times the plus 7. The minus times a plus, obviously gives us a minus, it's going to be minus 21. And then we just got to simplify again, so we've got x squared plus 3x, because 7 minus 4 is 3, minus 21, and that's us multiply it back out. Okay, we're going to do one more example to of these, and then probably best you practice them by yourself. So, one more example. This time we've got 3x in here, minus 6. Okay, so, same again. This time it's 3x times x, which gives us 3x squared. Okay, and then next up we have our 3x times 2, which is oh, times minus 2. Let's not forget there's a minus in front of it there. So 3x times minus 2 gives us minus 6x. Okay, we're now going to do minus 6 
times by the x, which will again give us minus 6x. Okay? And then last but not least, we can do the minus 6 times by the minus 2. Or the minus and the minus make a plus when we multiply. So minus 6 times minus 2 is going to give us plus 12. So we're getting the answer from this one as being 3x squared, we seem to have minus 6, minus 6, minus 12, minus 12x, minus 12. Okay, I could carry on doing these all day, but it's going to be a waste of time, you need to get doing them yourselves. So have a practice at these, then we'll come back and we're going to look at doing it the opposite way around. We're going to be given an equation like that, and we're going to factorise it, and we're going to put it in brackets like this.